good thing that you're learning about detachment. That's the law of the attraction, okay? Detachment. The law of attraction is detachment. You gotta detach, okay? Uh, have boundaries, okay? Make sure you're keeping that beautiful high vibration. Love yourself, heal yourself, okay? Um, reject some here is divine protection, okay? So if a lot of you are going through that energy where like your person rejected you for a karmic or whatever, this is something that is happening like all the time and now they realize that like the whole veil, everything has been... Uh, so it turned out that you're the actual Cinderella, the actual Snow White, right? You're actually the Sleeping Beauty, right? Uh, and also that too, maybe they judge you because you weren't wearing like too much makeup, <laughs> fancy ass clothes, buying a brand clothing and stuff like that, right? Uh, spending all your money and, you know, trying to be with, with dudes for money, <laughs> trying to be in a relationship for money because you're codependent, you're not codependent. And now they're realizing that all of that that they believe was actually healthy, it wasn't. It was actually toxic as fuck. Also, they are always normalizing that women, it's okay to date multiple men, having sex with multiple people. But now you're feeling that if they were in that energy, it's kind of gross to you. But now you're learning that divine is always saying you got to forgive so that they can forgive themselves. Because if you are judging someone for something that they weren't educating on, that heavily the system benefits, it's a gift and a precious gift, beautiful gift, that you were able to have this knowledge before them. You will have parents that taught you, that taught you how to protect yourself and how to keep your energy. That you had, um, I don't know, good influence in around you. That you had good friends, or maybe you didn't have good friends, and then you let go of all those toxic friends and you decided to be your own friend. They didn't have that chance. Also, you had the opportunity to know more about higher consciousness, Christ consciousness, 5D, how does that operate? You just you heal yourself, decolonize yourself. So some of you are already ascending, right? How can you judge someone that didn't know about that, that didn't have the time to, maybe some of you had that chance to learn through all this stuff through tarot, right? And they didn't have the time to do that. Now they're looking into it, right? Now, right? But everything also was kind of like delay and program for them, right? To stay that way, right? So now you're understanding that they were operating in this 3D reality. That's something that I also want to go into explain in Patreon about 3D, 4D, 5D, um, higher consciousness, spiritually awakening, uh, ego death and ascension. That's something that I'm also working on also as well, okay? But in the meantime, you know, this is education that has been like taken from us, has been stripped from us, have been criticized, right? Gaslight, uh, call it witchcraft and like oh even though it's not it's actually knowledge that we desperately desperately need especially when we're trying to break free from oppressive system right this uh, toxic uh, colonial systems right so i don't know i feel like divine is saying can you give them some credit that's for some of you all those of you, if you were with this person and they were abusive and toxic to you and they still haven't changed, but now they want to come back to you and stuff like that, know your worth. Choose better, okay? You, you know. You know your story. You know what I'm saying? All those of you, I feel like I'm just going to move because I don't want people to be in without permission. All those of you is like you need to just detach move on you know move on for other things not necessarily like if you want to hold space with this new person whoever is learning a karmic lesson now uh, now is finally breaking out from a karmic or something like that or this toxic mentality or is you know healing from the from literally being bound to the devil right by bound by someone and uh, and it's even harder when they realize that they were heavy heavy spell work on them and dark magic voodoo hoodoo whatever the fuck you want to call it can you imagine and you too some of you been through that you were in a relationship where you didn't know that someone was doing fucking spell work on you come on now how did you heal about that how did you detach about that how long did it take you to heal to that and if you haven't if you're you just realizing like wait what 
and you're realizing that the person that you're with is still toxic and abusive you don't know why you're codependent why you can't be independent why this person always like whenever you're trying to uh build feel do something better for yourself build better for yourself this person is always sabotaging you or always trying to uh, shut the fuck you up right and like trying to damn your dreams and not let you be and stuff like that then that's not your person that's a fucking vessel or a fucking demon okay sent to keep you down to keep you quiet to keep you not to do what you gotta do okay okay you see these are things that they're not taught these are things that it's not out there for people to learn Right, so this is why all these spiritual leader prophecies. If you go on my writersyep.com, you give back, you will see other spiritual who talk about this too. I'm not the only one doing this, okay? But I'm heavy, heavy working on this because I believe that people can overcome this, people can overcome addictions, people can be enlightened, can be connected to God can be having this beautiful relationship with nature with Gaia we can all do it together we can all work for a better world for better greener energy for no more fossil fuels for literally working in different things building equity together you know what I'm saying unifying duality and stuff like that you know but in order for that we have to like heal if we're not healed forget it also we have to build forgiveness and also that too when we build forgiveness we also have that boundary but also built how to judge accordingly like if you will know like you use discernment you'll feel in your intuition that god tells you you can judge that per person accordingly if they're not changing if they're not doing something right if you know what i'm saying if they're still the same and not you know what i'm saying others of you you build a sermon and you also see like okay that person hasn't that person changed, that person did the work, that person has been working on themselves, that person, it took them a lot of cojones to get to talk to you, or let's say maybe the, you know, there's a lot of the masculine energy, like he's showing me how bad it is, like, like we thought the patriarchy and colonial and capitalism and stuff, like it was bad on women, yes, it was horrible, it's horrible, it still is, obviously, but when we look at it from the men's side too, where they have to do certain rules and certain things to keep women down but also like if they don't do it they're like not manly or they're not uh, good enough or blah 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 so that creates this psychic this unconscious thing where they have to be having control manipulating or having lack of discipline or you know what i'm saying and then constantly doing something that they don't like to do because they have to be the provider right it's very very sickening so and then they tend to re retaliate they tend to do stuff like you know to numb themselves right that's where the addiction comes in and that's how the system operate and, and 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 benefits a lot from us not healing but us being in that demonic toxic mentality but when we're out of there we are acknowledge that we are aware of the shadow right and then we go into the light right then we see like okay then we understand another person's perspective and what they went through and also we're willing to listen because sometimes we're so easy to like talk 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 but we're not eager to listen like sometimes even me i'm like girl are you listening to yourself are you listening to others you know what i'm saying like that too is like you have to learn how to listen right and that too other people expect like you know that too is like highly sensitive people or people who are an empath or can feel people they think like oh you you already know so why do i have to say it it's the same thing with god like even god he knows all he knows your heart he knows who, what is going on with you he wants you to speak up he wants you to talk so the same thing with us it's like yes we know certain people's feelings but sometimes we you know integrity silent integrity and loyalty we don't you know we expect the person to communicate we expect the person to you know and that too is very difficult for a person to communicate when they being traumatized and you know i'm not invalidating other people like you know on heal trauma and stuff like that everybody is responsible for their healing but oh i have something in my nose but we all have to do our own healing we all have to do our own thing oh, my angels are like yeah that's it that's enough <laughs> That will be for another uh, talk, <laughs> real talk. <laughs> Other than that, my beautiful people, learn to forgive for yourself. Let the other person free. You are free. That too. 
when you forgive, you have discernment, you have love for yourself, you know your worth, okay? And uh, you don't let negativity or anything like that affect you. That too, don't take personally what other people do. And if they do, transmute that, okay? Give it to yourself, give it to your project, give it to your goals, your dreams, you know what I'm saying? And like, yeah, don't judge. That too, just don't judge. I'm hearing that very clearly, don't judge. So that way, and that too, those who are judging others, it's like you're judging only yourself. And that too, Divine Masculine, stop judging yourself. Forgive yourself, stop judging, do the work, okay? Because this work of self-love, feeling whole again, and taking back your power, and using discernment, and creating boundaries, especially if you're around, surrounded by toxic feminine energies, you really, really gotta stand your ground, okay? So stay grounded, go do the healing, go do the work, okay? And that will actually help you build that confidence again if you are lacking self-confidence if you're lacking if you're insecure and stuff like that you know and uh yeah just forgive yourself you know we all done we all have a past we all have done stuff but the one thing that i would suggest when you're forgiving yourself and you're willing to change and you're taking that route Create self-control for yourself. Create habits, methods that can keep that self-control for yourself so that you don't do it again. Because once you know something you, that you shouldn't be doing, that you know you shouldn't be doing, that you know better now, and that you've forgiven yourself and you've done the work already, you have to build ways of, and it's one thing at a time, you know? Sometimes you're gonna rem, 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 reminiscent, how do you say? Like, you go back into, you know, and then you go back, you know, it's like that, okay? But just forgive yourself every time and love yourself during that time, okay? Nurture that inner child, right? If it hasn't been nurtured, if it has been traumatized, dem demasculated, right? And remember that we have both. We have the divine masculine and divine feminine within ourselves. So when you focus on that, you'll see that you also have that divine feminine that you can use for yourself to heal, self-care, self-love, you know what I'm saying? And then divine masculine is the one that you need to kind of parent yourself if you've been traumatized if you haven't received love if you're you know if you reject a lot of people or something like that and you're in that rejection energy or abandonment issues or i don't know if you're surrounded by a lot of negative toxic people and you, for some reason you're not able to like let them go kind of thing or can't create boundaries and stuff like that like that's what i'm saying you know you don't need to be around surround people like that, especially if they don't value you, if they don't uh, respect you, if they're toxic as fuck. And yeah, you know your shit. I don't know why I felt like saying that, but you know your stuff. Okay, 22 on the clock. There you go. <laughs> Let the universe guide you into this. But I'm telling you, divine masculine, do the work. Divine feminine, if you're not there yet, you're going through it, okay? And if you're there, just be patient. Move on. Work, continue working on yourself. Healing is for, it's like an ever ending thing, okay? And be patient. That's it. And enjoy being single right now. Oh, some of you, it's like you decided to be single. You decided not to date, not to do, yeah, because you know that you, God already showed you who your person is, right? God already told you, even though you're like, oh, I don't know if that's the person, God is. Are you sure that's the person? Yeah, that's your person. They're going to have flaws. They're going to be, you know, they're going to have things they're gonna work on they're not perfect you know and so are you right because we're not perfect here I'm just saying no one is I'm just putting it out there we all got work to do you got work to do okay the reason why you're not in alignment yet is because you got work to do and they got work to do when you're in alignment when you are you know and that inner feeling whole and inner peace within yourself they're gonna come back in don't worry and let them come to you okay it's attractive seriously don't go after men like what the fuck this energy that they keep putting out there that's karmic stop doing that shit that's karmic that you need to be like oh dating oh i need to be looking like stop <laughs> just wait be patient love yourself heal yourself stop chasing let your man get to you that's that's how they they feel like they can heal their their masculine energy is by them being the man listening to their heart and they know that you are their heart get it 
when you go chasing men and stuff like that, you're literally demasculating them and you're also attracting fucking karmic. So that's it. Just wait. Be patient. Heal yourself. Work on yourself. Give yourself that love. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, the best dating app that I can tell you right now is God and Jesus, Holy Spirit. They're lovely. And the fact that they give you the beautiful gift, they show you who your person is, and that's it. Once you know, you know, you just stop chasing. You stop, like, work on yourself. Work on your goals. Work on your dreams. And if you're already there, awesome. Continue. There's always work to do. There's always stuff to do. Isn't it? Isn't it? Like, stability? It's very hard right now. I'm just saying. I don't know. Health? Have building a self-discipline? Having a spiritual discipline? Right? building that relationship with uh, the most high if you have kids right your careers uh if you're in school right focus on things that are going to give more long-term uh rewards and not only in this external but also spiritually because the spiritual reward is 10 times more and better than what you see in the external so remember that that's where the divine master and the divine family hits, okay? All right, I got to go see all my duckies coming around. I love you guys. Stay best. Stay meditated. Pray up. And yeah, take care. Make sure you like this video so other people are able to receive this message. Thank you so much for beautifully contributing reciprocity to this channel. Uh, comment up if this resonated with you or if you agree or not agree. That's better. Whatever you like. Uh, share this video so others maybe you know if they need to hear this this is something that they need to hear and subscribe so that way you know we can continue the building a beautiful tribe here and uh yeah i can give you messages pick up on your energy and tell you what's up any <laughs> messages that you know the divine wants to give you the universe your ancestors and angels you know and that's it i love you guys i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>